Wadler, and I am the founder and CEO of ShopPad. Uh, today, I have three minutes to tell you three of the most exciting things about my company. I'm going to tell you where we are, I'm going to tell you where we're headed, and I'm going to tell you how we got there. First of all, I don't know where the target is for this. That's all right. Well, I guess we'll just continue on anyway. Um, is there anything? No? Okay. All right, guys. So uh, in a year and a half since we started this company, we've grown to power the mobile storefronts of over 18,000 retailers in 80 different countries. Is that working? No? Guys, do you have any clue of why the oh. All right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 18,000 retailers, 80 different countries. Last year alone, we did $16 million in transactions through our platform to millions of mobile shoppers. How do we do this? There we go. Because it used to be that if you wanted to sell something, you had to rent a storefront. Then e-commerce comes along, so you got a website. But then your customers started spending more and more time on tablets and smartphones, native apps, mobile web, wearables. And so what used to look like this has become this. Now as an SMB, you're forced to think about your business in terms of channels. Your revenue streams have fragmented. And because you're an SMB, this is complicated and scary. Meanwhile, your customers aren't waiting for permission. They're still coming in through all the devices that they want. They're picking up the tablet next to them at the, on the couch. They're going to their smartphone. They're looking for your store in the app stores. And you know what happens when they find that you don't support their device? They bounce to somebody who can, like an Amazon. So that's why we, we created the ShopPad Mobile Commerce Suite. We help retailers deliver beautiful shopping experiences on all the devices their customers are shopping on. We integrate through their existing e-commerce API so that they can literally be up and running in a matter of minutes without having to write a single line of code. And once installed, we deliver beautiful, native, tablet, smartphone, and in-store kiosk experiences, solving the multi-channel problem with one SaaS solution. Now, I told you I was also going to give you a little bit about our future. I want to tell you a story very quickly. Uh, so from our data, we know that over 80% of mobile transactions are abandoned when they get to the checkout phase. This means you've gone through the store, you've picked out the items you want, selected the perfect color, found the perfect size, and at that point, you press checkout, so intent is pretty much 100% at this point. You press checkout, faced with that wall of inputs, you bounce. Over 80% of companies are leaving. Now, we also know that when the retailer has this information stored, uh, this number drops below 10%. So effectively, a frictionless transaction. So above 80%, below 10%. It's a huge delta. Retailers like Amazon with 170 million stored credit cards are able to use this information every single day to help their bottom line. But what about SMBs? SMBs are plagued by these sorts of, this category of issues of scale, and that this really prevents them from ever using technology to its fullest. So what we're able to do is we found a way to connect our tens of thousands of, uh, of SMB retailers in such a way that we can, uh, when a customer has a relationship with one retailer, we can extend the benefits of that relationship to all of the retailers, and we can do this across identity, conversion, marketing, iBeacons, thank you very much. I'm Aaron Wilder. Thanks, Robert. All right, beautiful judges. <laughs> beautiful judges. Uh, who has feedback? Just, so, or just uh, Aaron. Sorry. So just to clarify what you guys do, you essentially have a network. And so you share uh, in information and whatnot. So it's it's the network effect amongst SMBs. So there's two things that we do to understand ShopPad. One is the network, right? So we take these retailers and we roll them up to solve these sorts of problems of scale that SMBs are faced with. The other is our mobilization technology, and that's how we get to the network. So what we do is uh, we, we actually integrate with these e-commerce retailers or online retailers. We go in and we actually pull in all the information about their store, their catalog, their collections, their products, everything. And then we help them deliver the native apps, the mobile web, all the experiences that they need to be on all these new devices that are coming out. So how are you acquiring customers and uh, what, is it, uh, what do they pay you? So we do, uh, we have three channels for acquisition. One, because we integrate deeply with the e-commerce vendors that are already out there. So they all have app stores, kind of like an Apple app store. Uh, so that's one channel that we use, is sort of the organic rankings of that. Uh, we also do SEO and content marketing. 
And then in terms of business model, it's a, a freemium model because obviously network is important, but then monetizing is as well. So between 15 and 65 a month. Is, is there consu consumer awareness or end user awareness of the abbreviated shopping? Is it like a one click or two click kind of account that the users understand that they can use at multiple sites? Right, so that's the direction that we're heading in is in the network, being able to bring that one click check on that people have, you know, people use uh, on Amazon, right? Bringing that to all the SMBs. So exactly, we try and not make it too heavy, but there is an awareness in that I've created this uh, identity once and now I can seamlessly use it again and again and again. How are you branding that? Is, How it, are we, is there a brand for that? How are you? Minimally, yes. Minimally. Just in order to establish what the context is. So can you talk about, um, how you uh, stack up against Amazon's own services to small businesses, because Amazon sells its own product, but it also has um, a platform for third-party SMB sellers to sell uh, via Amazon. What are, you know, what are the strengths and weaknesses against that? Sure, so just to be clear, we don't, uh, we're not trying to create, recreate a marketplace. What we're trying to do is give SMBs the tools that they need to reach their customers on the smartphones, on the tablets, on the native apps, in the mobile web, all these different devices. So it's really about extending an individual's brand uh, presence and ability than it is about recreating the Amazon-esque uh, marketplace. So let me put it another way. If I'm, if I'm an e-commerce small business and I am faced with all the problems you described, another option I would have would be to just move my business onto Amazon and get the benefits of their scale and their um, multi-channel uh, display. True, so, so for a category of businesses, probably like the micro size business, you know, that's, actually, that's probably a really great path. Uh, we're looking a little bit further upstream. I mean, we work with uh, like Suzanne Summers or the Ouya video game console, companies that have actually a brand and identity and they're, you know, can't really be absorbed into the Amazon, you know, identity and architecture. So for the number, you did a great job. You have a lot of sites using it already. Thank you. Um, for how much money have you spent to acquire those sites? So on a unit economic basis, how much to acquire an SMB to use your product? So I mean, uh, mobile is kind of one of these light my hair on fire kind of problems, right? So we, you know, we're able to use SEO, content marketing, I'm and I'm just asking a dollar. I mean, we don't really have a, a CAC, right? Because I mean, it's all inbound. It's all people searching for these things and us great. just providing a solution for them. Ideal. Totally. Cool. Great. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks.